Three stacks, can you help me out? Dirty hours. Yeah. This type of shit you just ride out to. Uh. What is up, guys? Thank you here, lifestylesdefined.com. Welcome back to another episode of Ask Me Anything. As always, the way it works, you leave your questions in the comment section below, and then one of us will answer it for you in the next video. So please don't forget to leave your questions. With that being said, uh, actually, this comment was left on one of the videos I made uh, a few weeks back. This one is from Hassan T. Shout out to you for all of your questions. Uh, so his question is, now that Microsoft has left the consumer market for the time being, seems you have decided to go iOS over Android. Can you tell us why you decided to use iOS over Android? Um, what are your plus and minuses for each? So that is actually quite an interesting uh, question because it's been actually quite a bumpy road for me when it comes to operating systems and choosing the phone that I really like and that I want to use as my daily driver. So Windows Phone has been my platform of choice for a long time. Back in the Windows Mobile days, I'm talking back when the Pocket PC with the stylus back in the day. Um, so one of the first devices that I owned back then was the Pocket PC, the PHCC P4300, um, which had the resistive touchscreen with the stylus, slide out keyboard. Um, after that, I ended up getting uh, the HTC S620, which was actually a smartphone. It wasn't a pocket PC anymore. And then from then, the Touch Diamond, the Touch Pro, the HTC Maggio with uh, Windows Mobile 6.5. And then after that, I ended up going to Android with the, with the uh, original Droid. Uh, and that was really the only Android device I had after Windows Mobile. Because then I owned a few BlackBerry devices. And then eventually, in 2010, when Windows Phone 7 became a thing, um, and they were talking about it, I subscribed to their newsletter, the website that they had running there for some time. My first Windows Phone 7 device was the Samsung Focus. Yeah, the Samsung Focus. Beautiful device. Super slim uh, uh, AMOLED display. It was an amazing device. Even, that was back then when those devices didn't, didn't even have a front-facing camera, which was interesting. And then from there, I ended up going to uh, the Nokia devices. And that's actually one of the reasons why I stuck around with Windows Phone for so long. It was because of the hardware that Nokia was bringing to the table uh, with the 800 and the curved display. The, uh, the 920 had a slight curved display, not as you know profound as the the uh, 800 but then you know I ended up going to the 900 I ended up owning the HTC surround 2 with the slide out speakers uh, and then of course the 1520 was my my device of choice in fact it is in the drawer right here uh, but the 1520 was the big one for me uh, that was something that I actually was kind of a compromise the Ramon had the the 1020 and I wanted that device really bad but I also want, wanted a bigger screen, so for me, the 1520 was like the middle. I had the 6-inch display, which was amazing. Windows Phone, the operating system looked amazing on that phone. And I got half the camera of the, the 1020. So I was super happy with it. The software, the optics on that device was one of the things why I stayed with Windows Phone for so long. It was just top-notch. It was ahead of Android, ahead of, uh, of iOS or the iPhone. And, uh, you know, so I've been supporting Microsoft Windows Phone for, for quite some time. So it, it wasn't just, you know, Windows Phone that I started with. It was back in the day with the Pocket PC. Ramon did the same thing. He was, you know, he was into it uh, from those days, too. Uh, you know, the app gap, one of the things that a lot of people really made a big deal out of. And if you look at our past videos... You'll notice that Ramon and I, even Tawan, would say that the app gap wasn't really that big of a deal. But for some reason, it, it did change eventually. It did change, uh, especially when I started using the other operating system. So I kind of got tired of playing the catch-up game. Uh, I use all of Microsoft services. I still do the iPhone here. I don't use iCloud. I don't use any of Apple services. I don't use Google Drive except for my work for work purposes. But everything else, my OneDrive, Word, Excel, all of those services that Microsoft offers, I use on the iPhone. Um, and Android, of course, Microsoft makes them available for you know, all platforms. 
which is the, the, the thing that's really nice is that you can now use any operating system you want without sacrificing or giving up the services that you like to use. And that is one of the reasons why I was able to move to a different uh, operating system. Now, switching to Android, I guess you can say that, but I actually switched from the 1520 to the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. So hardware is one of those things that I switched to a Samsung device, so I can't speak for all Android experience. Uh, you know the experience that you get from different Android devices. I would have liked to go. I, I wanted to try a Nexus or something like that with stock Android, but the the Galaxy was a, such a beautiful device. The hardware was amazing, and so I decided to jump, you know, on onto that device there. So my experience with Android is strictly it strictly deals with the the Samsung Galaxy S. It doesn't. I can't talk for all Android. Uh, or all of Google, the Google operating system. So, with the Galaxy, it started off amazing. The device was fast. The, the 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 screen was amazing. Something that I that I really still miss now that I'm using the iPhone. The the display was just the colors. It was vibrant. It was just impressive. The front-facing camera, another amazing feature. Uh, you know, multitasking. All these awesome things that Android does that I wish Windows Phone would do especially with a device such as the 1520 um, you know jumping onto Android was just one of those things that was like you know what I love technology I want to experience all these other features that I'm not able to experience through Windows Phone and that is one of the reasons why I switched to Android now again I wasn't losing any of my services so it was an easy switch uh, of, of course I missed the, the uh, the UI, you know, the the tiles and the information displaying there, the simplicity of some of the applications like Six Tag, MyTube, MetroTube. Um, you know, at one point, the app gap was not a big deal because of the third-party developers that were holding us afloat, and they were just bringing apps that were even better than the official applications like Six Tag for Instagram. Uh, Instagram on Windows Phone was in beta for years. Uh, you know, Pandora wasn't available for Windows Phone for a long time. You know, Snapchat, we had an application for Snapchat there for a while, but what happened? They ended up taking it down. Uh, Microsoft built a YouTube application and they ended up taking it down because Google decided to be a little B. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, but we had applications that really kept us going you know like my tube that's that's one of my favorite youtube applications and i still miss that simplistic look you know the fact that there's no clutter i feel like on the official youtube application it's a powerful application but it's so cluttered and that's one thing i miss about windows phone is the simplistic uh design that they had for all uh, for the whole entire app operating system and at one point was the language that that they used it, all apps were you know they had the panoramic um a view so you would have to to actually navigate with the panoramic uh, style and that was a big thing for me um, but you know Android again my galaxy started off really well eventually started to slow down and I started to have to clean it up and it just got really sluggish and uh, I, I just got tired of it that's the one thing that I never liked about Android and I didn't think it would happen in fact I would brag about it all the time oh yeah the phone's freaking powerful it's smooth I don't have any issues. I ended up making my brother get it, um, and convinced a few other people to get the uh, the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. Uh, but again, eventually I got tired of it, and so did Ramon. So he tried out the uh, 950 and the 950 XL. I did not go with uh, with Windows Phone anymore. I decided to get the iPhone 6, which is this little guy right here. Now, the iPhone. I hated iPhone. I was such a fanboy that the iPhone for me was like a, like a sin. Like, if you're a Windows Phone fanboy, you cannot get the iPhone because then you have to go and you know confess your sins for switching to iOS. That's how big, uh, ha such a big hater that I was when it came to iOS. Never gave it gave it a fair shot. I had the device for a few for for a while, and never really gave it a fair shot. So. It wasn't until a few months ago that I decided, you know what, I'm gonna give it a, a shot. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take it to work, take it, you know, everywhere I go, see what it does. The first things I missed about the uh, about Android were not, or my Galaxy were the the screen size, um, the, the the screen quality, 
the camera quality that was so amazing um, that's one thing that I missed immediately multitasking another thing I actually used it I think I think it's a gimmick for a lot of people but I actually like the multitasking on Android that's that became apparent right away right off the bat um, you know looking at the screen here on the iPhone it's just not as beautiful as it is on the Galaxy the camera front facing camera terrible I hate it um, back the, 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 the actual camera the back camera the rear camera is not bad at all uh, but you know I did miss the hardware I missed all that stuff but I think eventually I kind of let the fanboy go and I started to focus more on productivity so uh, the iPhone you know that's what it does for me it's it's just uh, what I used to say about Windows Phone it just works and for me the iPhone just works any application that I want is on iOS I can I can get it there's some applications that I have now on iOS that I wish I had on Windows Phone. I just, I, you know, obviously development for Windows Phone applications, it, it's not popular. And now that I have certain applications here that make my my life easier as far as productivity, there, there's just no way I can get them on Windows Phone. They do have them on Android, but again, I had that bad experience, so I, you know, I, I'm not going to talk about that. But I think with the iPhone here, everything just works. You know, the fact that I can actually use the phone with one hand, um, you can double tap to, to bring the screen down. That's a feature that the Galaxy has too. But the one thing about the Galaxy 2, even though it's a slim device, it's still big. Not as big as my 1520, but it's still big and bigger, a lot bigger than the iPhone 6. And you know, for me, being able to put it in my pocket, my back pocket, I couldn't do that with the Galaxy. It was just annoying. First of all, I don't have like having things in my pocket. Um, the Galaxy was just too big for me. This little guy right here, I don't even worry about it. Just put it in my pocket. I can walk around, especially when I'm like doing some photography and I have the camera and I have my bag on me. But then I gotta like someone calls me because I'm you know I, I I have kids and stuff. So you know they call me and here I am trying to bring the phone out with the Galaxy. I can't text with one hand. I have like my bag. It's just so much easier with such a small device. So I ended up going from like like choosing things or devices with amazing hardware because you know I had the huge screen and everything to just fall in love with the small design of the iPhone, which is weird because I would never, never go iPhone or iOS. I don't have an iPad. I, like I said, I don't use iTunes or any of Apple's services. I don't. OneDrive is here. Any picture I take goes to my OneDrive. Um, you know, for for my documents, obviously Word. I use uh, OneNote all the time. So I love the iPhone. I love the iPhone. I love what it does. But I love it because I have access to all of my Microsoft services. Um, again, you know, the camera. I don't use the camera anymore. I used to rely on my camera on the 1520. Um, I didn't have a, an actual camera, so the, the 1520 was amazing to me. It was one of the things that was a necessity, especially with kids. If you went to events or stuff, I shot so many pictures with the 1520, and I was always impressed by it. But again, I didn't have a camera. Now I have a camera. Suddenly, my smartphone is not necessarily my main camera because I, I hate taking pictures with the iPhone or any smartphone because my camera blows them out of the water. Um, that's always been an important feature for me having a great camera on a device but you know now that I have a camera I don't need to rely on a, an amazing camera on my phone uh, the iPhone gets the job done I, I hate the front-facing camera the bad the rear camera is it, it's on par with anything else um, you know but again I actually ran into a situation today with one of my co-workers she ended up breaking her Galaxy S6 Edge Plus and switch back to her iPhone 5C and the first thing she told me was she hates the way the screen looks on the iPhone it's not as vibrant as the Galaxy the other thing is that the 5C is smaller than the 6 so that's another thing she hates is the fact that it's, it's so tiny for me the 6 is uh, like the sweet spot uh, it's not small and it's not huge you can fit it in your pocket the operating system gets the job done for me. I, I have no issues with, with iOS. It's I think it's come a long way. Even though you have the static icons, not not a big deal to me anymore. Uh, like I said, you know, I think the, the fanboy in me was always defending Windows Phone for a long time. I still love Windows Phone. I use it every single day when I come home. I have an application there that that I use for my workouts. I cannot live without the application, and I don't want to get a new one on iOS or Android because I have. Literally the last three years of history from my progress uh, from all my workouts 
uh, they're all stored in the cloud on that application. So for my groove music, put my headphones on, grab the uh, the 1520, and that's what I use it for. Um, so again, with Windows Phone, the reason I decided to move on from Windows Phone to Android was simply because I wanted the latest hardware. I wanted the latest, uh, you know, features, multitasking, um, you know. The Galaxy, the Sam, Samsung, you know, ended up catching up with the optics as far as the camera goes. So, you know, for me, that was my my tech side, you know, just the tech fanboy side of me that was taken over that decided to go with the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. And then from the Galaxy, it was like uh, one of those things where I was like, you know what? I don't feel like I'm as productive. I hate having a huge phone that I can't fit in my pocket. That's why I decided to go with the iPhone. And it was my last choice, trust me. I would have never thought in a million years that I would actually choose the iPhone. But again, the reason why I use the iPhone is because I have all of my Microsoft services available to me on the iPhone. And that is a big shout out to Microsoft for making that happen. So anyway, I hope that I answered your question. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you have any, any more questions, if you want me to show you any feature or any tips or anything like that, Leave your comments in the comment section below. Thank you for stopping by. As always, my name is Edgar, signing off. Peace.